Hey ladies, what's going on? Listen, I got a little hack for y'all today. If you love fashion like me, you know what it's like to go shopping, 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 looking and looking and looking and, and have a hard time finding exactly what you envision in your mind. To a nacho chick, nacho boo, nacho side piece, keep that too. This is the anthem. So what I have learned to do is look for things that I can work with. I can change it somehow. I can cut something off. I can add something to it and change the whole look. Change the whole look so that by the time I'm done, I got something I love, something that I'm feeling. So listen, I want to share with y'all real quick. This one pair of shoes I got from a thrift store. This was a thrift store find. Check her out. Ain't she cute? That is a cute, that is a cute strappy. The heel is not too high, so you're sexy and comfortable. Listen, strappy is always sexy. I love when you've got um, the part that goes around the straps that go around the ankle and a thin strap across the front. That way we can see those beautifully pedicured toes, polished toes. Your foot is looking pretty. You got that arch. There's nothing like a sexy pair of shoes that you can walk in because it ain't sexy if you can't walk in it <laughs> that defeats the whole purpose but when i got this pair of shoes they looked like this okay so <clears throat> look at the difference look at the difference less straps less straps is close to my skin tone too um it's kind of a snake inspired it's a snake inspired type of leather but look less straps is gonna be more sexy because you look more you look closer to nude your foot looks closer to nude um and so they went crazy the way they made these shoes again this is ralph lauren i love ralph lauren i had another pair of ralph lauren by the way which was very very comfortable so I had to get these when I found them but I said you know what they're doing the most <laughs> they're doing the most with this shoe it's just way too much straps with all the extra straps I feel like it's looking a little less chic and a little more grannyish. so what did I do I said hmm what can I do what can I do I decided to take off one pair of the straps from the front and one of the straps from the back so rather than this i have this a lot more simple chic a lot more elegant sometimes less is more more ain't always more okay now i do have to go back and clean up with a razor i have to get a razor and make sure that i cut that very um very close closer closer to the sole of the shoe so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get my hands on a razor that uh, more than likely I'll find one in my husband's toolbox but listen all I did let me just show you real quick you gotta be thinking when you're shopping this is why when I'm shopping I'm in my zone because I'm not really paying attention to what's going on around me I'm in my head I know what I want to see I know what I want to get I know um, if I'm looking at something what I can do to it if I can do anything or if I can't do anything at all to change it you're not always gonna find what you want you know if, if you're not a designer you got to be able be willing to be creative so this is what I did I kept this one strap I kept the strap that goes around the ankle not the one that goes over the heel and so be careful when you do it because if you screw up that's it it's not like you <laughs> you probably won't be able to put it just put it back on so that's what I did. I took that strap. I cut very, very closely, very closely. Again, I will go back and clean it up with a razor as well. And girls, use your brain. Use your brain when you're buying stuff because you can change things. If you buy a shirt and you're not really feeling a particular um, design detail on the shirt, then just freaking pull it off. Go cut it off. So anyway, as you can see, there you go. I cut it right here. I'm going to go back in with a razor and make sure that you can't see anything at all. There's no leftover strap from, you know, the one I just cut. And that's it. Like I said, once I put this shoe on, oh, what a difference. Oh, what a difference. Now I'm liking the shoe. But I'm glad I kept the shoes. Sometimes hang on to stuff until you figure out what to do. 
Um, if you know there's nothing you can you can't work with something, the trend has died or something like that, then by all means just trash it, donate it, sell it, whatever. Somebody else will love it, even if you don't like it anymore. One man's trash, another man's treasure. Not your chick, not your boo, not your side piece. Keep that too. Not your chick, not your boo, not your side.